Hello, have you seen this photo? The internet has been talking about this photo for over a month now. If you don't know, if you're like me, let me catch you up to the speed. As you can see in this photo, which is shot on an iPhone 12 by this person named Tessa. She's in a bridal um, house trying on an engagement wedding dress. And um, congratulations on the engagement, by the way, if you're watching this video. I hope you are because we're gonna debunk this. It's very simple. <laughs> and as you can see in the photo, uh, left side of the photo, her hands are down in the center, her right arms up, and then on the mirror on the right side, her arms are together. And um, this photo is shot on iPhone 12. And she says it's taken on in one shot. It's not photoshopped. It's not panorama, it's not live photo. That doesn't mean anything, but still. I, she, first of all, I don't think she's into technology a lot. So a lot of the stuff she's saying is um, is not is not correct, but you know, don't harass her. It's not her field. Um, and she's freaking out about what's going on. They're thinking the dress is cursed, the shop, can be a portal. Twitter was immediately filled with um, straight men giving me explanations about um, shutter aperture. And uh, Instagram was just women uh, screaming and um, everybody being like, you're a witch, the bridal shop is a portal. Um, this is all the speculations that's going on while well, she's, she's so worried about this when she leaves the shop, when she realizes the photo. She says she felt like vomiting and then she went back to the shop and asked if the mirrors are videoing her. And I'm like freaking out. So the first thing I do is I go back to the shop and I'm like, are these mirrors videoing are they actually cameras are they thing i show the woman in the shop she loses her mind and then she says that she used to think there may be a correlation because she went to the shop two days after halloween this takes place um two days after halloween is that important no but did it feel important at the time yes and she asks fan everyone is screaming everyone's freaking out my sister then calls called me called me back and she says she's gone to and my sister's like a very rational person on the phone when i was freaking out she was like i'm gonna go find some of the men in the tech department in the office that she works in and i'm gonna report back they'll know what to do and then she calls me back and she says i'm in the tech department now there's like eight men looking at the photo and they're all screaming and then she goes to the apple store and then she waits two hours at the apple store and then the apple store um genius gives her a couple of answers so at this point i walk to the Apple store and I said, I need a genius now, please. And I won't be leaving until I've seen a genius. And the lady was like, it's like a two hour away. And I was like, fine. As I'm waiting, I show on the ground floor, the, the guys in the blue shirts who aren't the geniuses, I show them the picture. And I really thought the moment I showed like any of the people in the shop, they'd be like, ah, oh, yeah, weird, but I know what this is. And instead they like lost their minds. By the way, I like to mention something. I'm inserting the, her stories here. So just so you would know how this evolved in this last month. This has been going on for a month and I actually didn't know. I just realized what was happening Friday evening and then Friday evening I debunked it. It was very, it was super simple, but I'm sharing the entire story of to show you how, you know, how this can get out of hand super easily. And um, I know to some of you, this reactions and everything, all the stories may sound, you may not like it. Just don't be mean to anyone. I, don't start anything. Just, just let's listen. It's super simple. It's super simple. Okay. Like there was a queue of like 20 people all in their blue shirts, like queuing, going to get each other and be like, you have to see this. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. They're like, they're truly freaking out. 1.1 boy was like, this is too gnarly. This is too gnarly. I don't like it. And I was like, you don't like it. Funny. I couldn't take a picture of them because they had my phone, but there was honestly 20 of them like gathered around it, like, like uh, horrified. And, uh, and now I'm like, truly, I've left my body by this point. And I'm like, well, I, I live in the mirror realm now. Like I'm, I guess I'm, I've, I'm on the second layer of inception or something. Anyway, finally get upstairs to the geniuses. It takes three geniuses before we find somebody. And each genius is like more scared than the last. And finally, Roger is found. And Roger like comes up from the basement and he's obviously like the grand, the grand high wizard. And he looks at it and he's like, okay, I've, he's like, I've never seen it this bad or this scary, but 
what happens is an iPhone is not a camera, it is a computer. And so when an iPhone takes a photo, it takes a series of burst images very quickly, even though it's not a live photo and it's not a pano and it's not a burst, it's none of the things that you all very cleverly thought it might be. It takes a series of images from left to right. And what it's done at the exact moment that it like crossed behind your back, it, uh, you raise your arms in that like half a split second and then it's made a completely different image on the other side and it's like made a, like an ai decision and it's stitched those two photos together but now about that apple store in the uh, covent garden i would love to visit that apple store because um no one knows anything in that store and everyone i guess is just walking around freely if you can get have 20 people gather around you here you can't even find one guy to listen to you and then geniuses come and geniuses go, impossible over here because you're a dedicated one person. Um, none of this happens here. So whatever that Apple store is, whoever Roger is, Roger, <laughs> we need to talk, man. We need to talk, bro. Tech community jumps in and they're like, oh, this has to be Photoshop, that's not possible. Even if we're doing HDR, the photos are taken so quickly that you cannot move your arms like this fast, or even if you did, they would be blurry. This must be Photoshop. They find this tiny seam around her shoulder. This has been a month. Verge contacts this person, gets, to, gets their hands on the original photo, and then they're like, hang in there. We're gonna come up with an answer what really happened. And I started looking at this, and I went to her social platforms, and then I found this which is the data from the photo and she shared this herself and in the in her story she shares she shared a lot of stories on her instagram you can go and check it out where she talks about this for for a while and as you can see here uh, the resolution is 3028 by 3948 it's an iphone 12 which i have one here and it is um, shot with the 26 millimeter lens. Everything seems normal, right? Actually, it isn't because this is not the four by three. First of all, this is not four by three. And second of all, this is not the resolution that would normally come out of iPhone 12. The resolution coming out of iPhone 12, it's 4,032 by 3,024. So, Something is different, right? It is not four by three. It is not the resolution. So what can it be? It is a panoramic photo. She says in the uh, in her own Instagram that she says it's not panorama. And I'm guessing when she went to Apple Store and asked, they they said this is not a panorama because there's no panorama sign. But here's the thing: of course, there's no panorama sign because the photo is not panoramic. And when you're in the panorama mode, if the photo doesn't go wide enough, it doesn't get the panorama sign. So let me tell you what happened. It's super simple. Stop it. Stop it. She gave the phone to someone and then that person probably went to the camera and probably maybe accidentally swiped to panorama mode and then hold the phone like this and then maybe move back a little bit, which concludes the photo and then took a panoramic photo. And what does the panoramic photo do? It stitches things together. This is what panoramic photo is supposed to do because otherwise everyone look weird. That's it. That's it. It's a panoramic photo. So yeah, I tried it myself. As you can see, she's looking into the mirror here. She's looking forward and then her arms are different in that photo. Just one take. And does it say panorama? No, it's not a panoramic photo. So that's it. So yeah, we can all uh, stop talking about it. I want to make this video because I see that it's going everywhere. I've been reading comments about this. I didn't know this was going on for a month and I'm looking at the comments and everything. I saw a couple of stuff on Reddit. I saw a couple of stuff on uh, Petapixel. So I wanted to jump in while working on, you know, stuff that <laughs> really matters and tell you guys that this is just a panoramic photo. So Tessa, uh, mainly you, I want to talk to you. Congratulations. No, the dress is not cursed. No, the shop is not a portal. There are no cameras in the mirrors, which wouldn't mean anything. I, maybe you meant screens, but you know, it's 
it's okay. Everything is fine. This is just panorama. It is what it does. This is how it stitches stuff together. There's no glitch. And uh, I'm sorry you had to shocked about this and waited two hours at the Apple store. But that's it. It's really anti-climactic ending. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope to see you soon because I'm, I'm working on a lot of stuff here. I've been working on this things review for so long and I was ready to release it and then they updated it and solved a lot of the issues I had. So now I'm redoing the latency tests and all the variations. And yeah, there's a lot to talk about that. I also want to make a video about the Ray-Ban uh, smart sunglasses that I've been wearing and loving. I'll see you soon. There's nothing to worry about. It's just panorama mode.